Six different one times to 16 times PCIe risers. Here are six different kinds of one times to 16 times PCIe risers. These three all have a Molex connection, a four pin power connection. These two have a six pin power connection. And the last one has a SATA power connection, like you'd use for your SSD. They each have a one times PCIe that connects to the 16 times PCIe riser. Out of the three Molex powered risers, the first two are generally the same. They're on the same version 6 board. One's just blue and the other one's kind of black with an orange or yellow 16 times slot. They both have a sliding lock to lock in your graphics card into the 16 times slot. The third one has a voltage regulator added to it. You can see a little diode there. The one above does not have the diode, the one below does have the diode. Otherwise, they're the same boards and generally the same thing. The voltage regulator is good if you want to connect the riser to a 12 volt power source. The voltage regulator, the diode, will ensure that the proper amount of voltage is used by the riser, that you don't get too much voltage and kill your card. Out of the two 6-pin PCIe risers, one of them has a slider lock and the other one has a push lock on the side. And that's generally the differences between those two, otherwise there's really not much difference in those two. The last PCIe riser, the red one, also has a slider lock to lock on your GPU. The first three Molex powered connectors come with an extra Molex to SATA cable. If you want to use the connector, you can plug that into a SATA cable and then plug the connector into the PCIe riser and power the riser that way. The two 6-pin cards come with a 6-pin to SATA connector. You can power these cards with the connector by plugging in the connector. And then plugging in the SATA end of the connector to a SATA cable. and powering the riser through a 6-pin on your power supply. The PCIe riser with the SATA connection doesn't come with any additional cables, and it can be powered directly through a SATA cable into your power supply. It's better to use the PCIe with SATA connector rather than use the extension cable that the Molex or 6 pins come with. I'll quickly show you how to plug the cards into your power supply. So here I have a Molex cable and I'm going to plug a riser directly into the Molex cable. And then I'll take a USB cable. They all come with the USB cable. I'll plug in the USB cable. 
and then I'll plug in the one times end, the other end of the USB cable. We can pretend this one to three PCIe extender is a motherboard and we would just plug in the one times end into the motherboard like so. And you would take your graphics card and plug that into the 16 times PCIe riser. Like so. And hit the lock to lock your card in. And that's how you connect your card. You'd also, of course, plug in the power to the card itself. So here I have my riser plugged into the power supply and my GPU plugged into the power supply. And the USB cable connects the riser to the motherboard. Or in this case, the 1 to 3 PCIe extender. Take that all apart. And additionally, you can, as I mentioned earlier, use the extension cable. Plug the extension cable into the PCIe riser. And then use a SATA connection and plug that into the extension cable. With the red riser, the SATA powered riser, you can plug that riser directly into the SATA cable. So no need for an extension cable with this one. If you're going to use a SATA cable to power a riser, it is better to use this one. Last are the 6-pin risers, and they can be powered directly through a 6 plus 2 pin power cable. The same cables that would power your GPU. Just plug in the 6 pins, and it's connected. The great thing about these cards is you can plug in 2 on one cable, if you have this kind of dual cable. These also have voltage regulators on them to protect the risers from getting too much voltage. Last, you can use the extension cable, plug the 6-pin extension cable into a riser. And then use a SATA cable from your power supply, plug that into the extension. and use that to power a single riser. That's the same as using the extension cable on the Molex powered cards. If you want to get some of these risers, you can get them at CryptoMine.com.
All orders over $50 get a free novelty coin. You can also get flags, t-shirts, QR code pendant and keychain wallets, and novelty coins at CryptoMine.com. CryptoMind accepts seven different cryptocurrencies as payment, Dash, Dogecoin, Zcash, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Monero, and Ethereum. If you click on the hardware icon, or if you go to categories, you can click on hardware there, and that will take you to the hardware page where the PCIe risers are. Here you can check out the six different risers. We'll take a look at a Molex riser here. All risers are offered in single quantities, packages of 10 and packages of 25. We'll take a look at the SATA powered riser. And last, take a look at a 6-pin powered riser. All of these risers are version 6 or version 7. The SATA powered riser is version 7. All of the other ones are version 6. Just add it to your cart. And if you scroll down, there's a shipping estimator. You can select your country. If you're in the United States, you can select your state. Type in your zip code. And then click on Update. And it will show you your shipping amount at the bottom of the page. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.